Hello everyone, today we'll see how to generate a questions uh, from a question set and uh, mail it to the different students. Uh, first of all, I'll create one uh, question bank. For that, I'll uh, open the spreadsheet, rename it. This is the sheet for question bank. So I'll rename this as a question bank this video is a little slow because uh, those who don't know how to use the google sheet and google form uh, they also should uh, understand this that's why i made it little slow those who know how to use this google sheet and google form you can fast forward it uh, I have given the label here uh, for questions. The question is there in the column C, and I'll generate a, a random number by using a function R A N D that is random. So, uh, drag that is still uh, how many questions we have, and uh, depending on this uh, random number, I'll uh, generate a rank for this random number. So for that I'll use the inbuilt function rank uh, and I'll select the first uh, row value uh, from the, and uh, second uh, set uh, in that uh, rank function is uh, all the randoms value. <coughs> okay, so you can see here this is a random function how it looks like and this is a rank function how it looked like and that is the uh, last one uh, comma one is to tell that uh, it is a integer numbers what we want okay a one digit number we want so this is my uh, i want to use this as my form response also so i have given the name for this sheet as a form response the next i will create one more sheet this uh, sheet will uh, take a uh, first two uh, first two questions or three questions from the question set now how it is taking the first two and uh, two or three question is uh, i'll show you uh, in this sheet i have now given the question number that is one two and three and question i'll take from the question bank for that i'll use we lookup function so we look up i want one in the rank one uh, from the question set so i have to find out from this set of uh, numbers set of ranks okay the so next is uh, uh, sorry okay i have to take uh, both the uh, uh, columns the question uh, set and the uh, rank set next uh, i if the one i can find in the first column in the second column value i want to place in the particular question okay so i'll show this equation if you are if it is not visible okay in the two values is taken the first one i don't want yeah Uh, yeah you can see here so b2 b2 to c9 that is my uh, rank number and uh, question numbers is there you know, in that uh, the second column i want so to find out the questions so a random question it will generate for each time when you are refreshing it the next is uh, i'll generate one google form in this the uh, google form i'll take only two values that is uh, the name and uh, email number email id okay so this form of uh, the random question uh, testing so the first one is name the second one is email okay yeah i'll make both the question okay yeah enough email and name 
next uh, i have to create the response sheet already existing or what i have created just now the sheet i will take that as my resp uh, response workbook so in that it will create one worksheet that is form response one i will rename that uh, i don't want this space okay so form response one okay so whenever i am giving a input like uh, email id and uh, email id and name it is going to give put that into form response now taking from the form response okay this is the google script what is what i have written so in this uh, script first i will take whether there is a trigger like if there is form filled so if form is filled then open the function that is question generate so in this question generate i will uh, take the email id that is email address the name of a, uh, okay i'll go back to the response sheet okay it is the same thing what i have given in the question or it is there in the uh, response sheet also in the response sheet you can check the same uh, column is there so from there it is going to take the the current email id okay the next is name so I will take that and copy into the variable that is sender and NAM. Okay. Next, I want to send the email to the person who is filled the form. So, uh, from the uh, sheet, that is the second sheet, it is. Uh, random question okay so i'll uh, read that sheet first so in that sheet i'll take the get range it will take only the starting from first row first column to fourth row fourth column but i want only uh, two columns it's okay i'll take uh, four columns okay so only these uh, uh, four into four uh, cells it is going to read Next, from that, I want to display the message like uh, your question for lab internal is like dear student, the name, what I have taken from the uh, value or what they have feed fed uh, through the form. And uh, question set value, it is uh, okay, question set value. Uh, okay, I'll copy paste. Now the first one is uh, like question set value in the square bracket. We have one one two one and three one. That is to uh, tell that I want uh, the value from the um, first row, second row, and third row of the first column. Okay. Uh, how it is first uh, column? I'll explain later. Now we have to run this. Uh, run the initialization function. It will ask for authentication. Okay. So when it is saving only it will ask for authentication you have initialization function it is going to ask for authentication uh, now we have to uh, even though it is not saved we have to accept it it's okay because the script is written by us that's why it is telling like this so uh, next i'll go to the live form i'll feed the values okay i have not told that uh, in the sheet the first column is zero second column index is one so i wanted the second column in uh, second column that is the index value is one that's why i have given uh, in the script it is one okay uh, yeah here email id and name i have given sanskriti technology and the name is sanskriti i'll go back to my email In the sent item because uh, I have okay in the sent item you can see there okay it has generated the question and it has sent the questions also so I don't want it to show the email ID that's why it is hidden 
ओके एनीवे दिस गूगल स्क्रिप्ट आई विल गिव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल शो हाउ इट इज ओके वन करेक्शन आई हैव टू डू हियर दैट इज uh when i'm generating a random question i have taken the first one okay equation i have written properly after that i have dragged it so uh, but uh, the range will change when i'm dragging it so i have i want to fix this range that's why i have to insert this dollar sign so i want dollar i mean b2 to c9 that is the range what i want if i drag this it will be b3 to c10 so i don't want like that i want the b2 to c9 that's why i have to put this dollar sign okay so now if i drag it it will be fixed for all the three uh, rows okay yeah so we have done with our uh, video we can check the output one second i will show the response what i got yeah one more thing is uh, i want only one set of question should be uh, given to all the students so uh, limit uh, response equal to one all other values no don't change anything uh, save it okay so one from one email id one set of question will be uh, taken so this is the way we'll uh, get the output thank you